it is true. There could be a metaphysical world. The absolute possibility of it is hardly to be disputed. We behold all things through the human head and cannot cut off this head. While the question nonetheless remains, what of the world would still be there if one had cut it off? This is a purely scientific problem, and one not very well calculated to bother people over much. But all that has hitherto made metaphysical assumptions valuable, terrible, delightful to them, all that has begotten these assumptions is passion, error, and self-deception. The worst of all methods of acquiring knowledge, not the best of all, have taught belief in them. When one has disclosed these methods as the foundation of all extant religions and metaphysical systems, one has refuted them. Then that possibility still remains over, but one can do absolutely nothing with it, not to speak of letting happiness, salvation, and life depend on the gossamer of such a possibility. For one could assert nothing at all of the metaphysical world, except that it was a being other, an inaccessible, incomprehensible being other. It would be a thing with negative qualities. Even if the existence of such a world were never so well demonstrated, it is certain that knowledge of it would be the most useless of all knowledge. More useless even than knowledge of the chemical composition of water must be to the sailor in danger of shipwreck. <laughs>